Hey everyone, I'm Joey Penn. Welcome to BTV on this great Wednesday with a high of 59 and a low of 36. Hopefully, Luke, the cold weather will you know, hold off a bit longer. I kind of like the cold weather, so I'm kind of hoping it's here to stay. But enough of this talk about the weather, Joey. Let's get on with the show. Don't you ever say I just walked away. I will always want you. I can let a lie running for my life. I will always want you. Welcome back, everyone. We'll start today's show off by welcoming two new students to our Barstow family. Allison Tapon is joining the ninth grade, and Michelle Morganson is joining the 11th grade. Do what you can to make these two feel at home. Absolutely. Happy to have you join the Barstow community. The Upper School Musical, Into the Woods, begins Thursday, October 24th, and will run through Saturday, October 26th. The show starts at 7 p.m. Should be a great show. All the actors put in a lot of effort, along with the teachers, and all the time they put in is sure to pay off. Can't wait to see it and uh, get my tickets soon. The middle school chat and chew is coming up soon. It is on Wednesday, October 30th. With the movie Ender's Game releasing on November 1st, chat and chew would be a great way to talk with friends about the book. I always loved doing chat and chew when I was at elementary school. It was a great way to talk with friends, read new book, books, and it was always a great experience. I remembered it. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. Barstow launched its first middle school quiz bowl team yesterday. Barstow played a duel with Oak Hill Day School, and all six players got equal playing time. It was a close match with Oak Hill coming out j ahead by just two questions. Good work, guys. Hopefully you all can get, um, get them next time. If you see Aaliyah Spears, Alexi Ayen, Saketh Dendi, uh, Taha Fadswana, Ayesh Kayen, uh, Karan Kayen, uh, Luke Oldroyd, congratulate them for a great showing at this first ever match. Hey, Joey, have you noticed that Zen Garden has been looking, well, a little more Zen? Uh, I have noticed, Luke. I'm not sure who's responsible for its tidy appearance. Well, Bailey Childers noticed some students working hard giving the Zen Garden a makeover. Here's the story. the Zen Garden because I mean it's pretty run down it was pretty run down and um, I mean the boards are all pretty much rotten and the the sand and stuff it was really really dirty a lot of dirt um, leaves and debris in it and all, a lot of the plants were dead and they were rotting um, I mean yeah and we just kind of want to restore it because it's a really I guess attraction that Barstow has that a lot of schools don't have. We had to have a big first project to work on because it had gotten overgrown so we did a big Friday project where we all got together and we um, whipped out, ripped out the weeds and got out the leaves and uh, made sure nothing was overgrown or going over the, um, the wood pegs because the Zen Garden inside is supposed to be pretty clean. The people who are involved basically with this project is myself, Troy Workman, um, Cheryl Wu, um, Whitney Estes, Stephanie Kruitz, and Kyle Munger, which ba were basically the maintainers right now currently of the Zen Garden. It's a really fun experience, I think, to be able to rake the Zen Garden. We usually do, do it during flex or after school, during the Japan Club meetings on Friday. Um, it's very fulfilling, I think, and you do get volunteer service hours for helping out because it's at the school, so it's on school service hours as well. So that's a plus for it. I got involved by Troy. Like we had an idea to fix up the Zen Garden, and I was the vice president, so I got involved, and it was pretty good to uh, work in here to make a good environment for the students to study. I got interested in Japan in middle school, and then in high school they said we could create clubs, and I knew a bunch of my friends were interested, so we thought why not make a club out of it, and then. We decided to hang out in the Zen Garden one day and just saw it needed help, so we decided to help out. It's really a beautiful place to basically just kind of unwind during flex or break and basically maybe just study or read when you have extra time. Zen Gardens are meant for calming purposes and to clear the mind, and that's what the raking's for. Is it's just kind of thought process. It's pretty calming. We are hoping to uh, fundraise um, so we can buy new boards 
and um, be able to uh, refurbish it because they're not looking too well right now and also buy new furniture and some new fun accessories for the garden maybe statues or something um, to make it look nice. If you are interested in helping out with the Zen Garden and making it look even better or just interested in learning about Japan or the Amaki student program because we have Amaki student um, kind of fun activities we get to do with them every year and so that's gonna be really exciting and so if you are interested um, we have meetings in Mr. Pepin's room on Friday. Seems like a great way to get involved. Always nice to see Zen Garden in uh, tip-top shape. Yeah, it's really cool that they're doing that. Volunteers are needed for the Friends of the Johnson County Library book fall book sale. Email Miss Zimmerman for details. Joey, let's do some improv. All right. Just kidding. <laughs> it, but improv does have a meeting after school on Thursday. Knowledge Bowl meets tomorrow morning. If you're interested in any of the upcoming tournaments, come to Miss Zimmerman's Miss Padberg's room uh, before school for practice. We now go to our second story of the day. This one, produced by Shanley Lynn Art, documents the Spanish and art field trip to Maddie Rhodes. Joey, you're in Spanish 5. How was it? It was great. Got some great food. Got to see a lot of those uh, great, um, you know, just, uh, things for the dead. It was awesome. The Day of the Dead is a celebration of people's lives who have passed on. I believe November 1st is the day that they celebrate children and or the passing of children and then November 2nd is the day that they celebrate the passing of loved, their adult loved ones. Uh, well first we went out to lunch which was really good. We went to an authentic Mexican restaurant and so we weren't really like rushed to eat. We had time to sit down and actually eat and enjoy the food. And then we're going to go to Maddie Rhodes where the students will see the ofrendas. And these ofrendas maybe have been built by um, community groups or a school group, or they might have been built by someone in the community. But these are memorials and art altars and shrines. And so the kids will get to see all of that. And then they get to do this real fun little art project that has um, a Mexican flair to it. One of the things we had to do is we had to color in a picture some kind of artwork, then we cut it out and we had a bottle cap and we covered the inside of the bottle cap with glue. And we put the picture, once it was all colored and cut out, inside the bottle cap. And then we added sparkles to it, which made it really fun and it made it stand out. And then we added magnets to it, so we made a bottle cap magnet and it was really cool. Overall, I had a great time learning about the Day of the Dead. Always great to learn about those a friend does and learn more about the Day of the Dead. Definitely. Well, that's all we have for today. We hope you enjoyed today's show. I'm Luke Gerson. I'm Joy Penn. Have a good one, Barstow.